This spring, when VCU baseball took the field, former standout pitcher Seth Cutler Volts was back at the Diamond, but in a new role as a volunteer assistant coach. It, it was weird, uh, you know, kind of coming in and, and saying, "Oh, you want me in the coach's locker room?" All right, uh, uh, but you know, it's it's been you know it's been a long you know seven eight months, so you know I feel like I feel like you know I've made that transition now that I'm a coach. You know, I'm kind of. Pass the playing thing. Colorvolt's former pitching coach turned head coach Sean Stifler was ecstatic about the Richmond native's decision to move from the mound to the dugout. You know, other than seeing one of your players move on to be maybe a professional pitcher or pitching the major leagues, I think seeing them go on to to move into coaching is is one of the proudest things you could have. You know, is to pass down some of the things that you've learned from your mentors onto them and then to watch them pass that down as well. But it has still been an unusual transition for the 2012 VCU graduate. You know, coming from, from being a player to being a coach, and, and I get asked that all the time. But, you know, the guys have been really good, you know, you know from the first day, you know, with the transition. You know, guys that were here, uh, you know, they, they respected me enough to, uh, to take me into that coaching role and to treat me like a coach. Uh, the toughest adjustment was, you know, I just had a lot of friends on the team, you know, that I played with for, for you know, three, four years, you know. So, I mean, just kind of being able to separate that and understand, and, you know, with, with the team's best interest, I needed to make that separation and, and really take a coaching role because if I didn't, you know, it, the lines would get too blurry. Color Volts' youth adds an extra value to the Rams' coaching staff. I think one of the, the main things that I bring to the to the staff is is that I'm a good resource, uh, especially for for what's going on now. You know, often, you know, whether it be the coaching staff or the guys, you know, you know, how do the guys like this? You know, so I can relate. I can be, you know, kind of the the player's voice for the coaches. For senior starting pitcher Ryan Farah, Color Volts has already been coaching unofficially for a while now. The only big difference for me is just having to call him Coach Volts. Um, ever since I got here my freshman year, he's kind of taken me under his wing and pretty much been a coach for me and pretty much has just mentored me the whole way. I mean, it's definitely a little different, but I mean, he's helped me out from the beginning and helped a lot of guys on the team, so it's not much difference just besides calling him Coach now. The attributes Color Volts had as a player have now been impressed onto the pitching staff. He obviously was a workhorse and, and a warrior when he pitched here for us and uh, a lot of that has transitioned to the way he handles our guys. He's in charge of uh, really all of their day-to-day -day throwing as well as, uh, as well as all of their conditioning and it's really, I've really seen the impact in our starting pitchers um, from the get-go of the season. They're in the best shape they've ever been in as well as they've really taken on some of the, uh, the mentality that he's passed on to them as far as going deep into games and not wanting to come out of games. He's a guy who the players had the, had the respect of the players the day he walked through the doors because they knew his work ethic and they knew the way he went about things. And, and uh, you know, so, you know, for me, you know, it, it, was, it, was, it was very, very simple because the players ultimately respected him the second that, uh, that he walked in the door. He had great credibility with them. And, um, and, you know, and I knew the type of person he was and the type of character and, and the type of things he was going to bring to our ball club. We were all young when we started, you know, you know so, I mean, that's, uh, you know, the one thing that is going to change with him is going to be his age. <laughs>